Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So thank you guys so much for coming back to watch this new update on my weight loss journey with Weight Watchers. So I decided to do it like vlog style kind of, or like a get ready with me because I wanted to make sure I got this video up on time. It's gonna be coming up. Today should be Thursday for you guys if you guys are watching it today. So first off, I just wanna mention my weight. So my previous starting weight with Weight Watchers, which was about four weeks ago, was at 215.2. My current weight is 212.3. Yay, a little bit of loss, but sadly not a lot for um, like freaking a whole month. You know what I mean? It's kind of like disappointing, but I have better news when it comes to my measurements. Okay, so for measurement wise, for my hips, I started at 48 inches. I am now 47 inches, so that's one inch of loss there. For my waist, I started at 42 inches. I'm now down to 39.5, so that was a good loss. And then for my bust area, I was at 45.5 inches. I'm now at 43.5, which is really good. I didn't work out for like the entire time except for maybe five times the whole month. Um, I kind of got really crazy busy with work. Also really, really like stressed with my car lease and my new apartment lease that's coming up and everything. So it's just been chaotic. So I didn't end up going to the gym a lot. Besides that, how I feel, honestly, I feel great. I think I wanna say I started noticing a difference after like two and a half weeks probably I, I think the where i felt it first was i think it was mostly like not really in my face because my face didn't change too too much but it did change enough to make like make me feel different but i think i felt it more in my jeans like specifically around my waist around belly button area and because of that i can feel the difference of where the button actually you know closes on my pants my pants are becoming a little more loose also i feel like instead of when i especially when i'm sitting down in the car when i'm sitting down i don't feel like my belly is protruding out a lot over my jeans i before would have to like unbutton my jeans to feel comfortable and now like i can sit down perfectly fine and like my stomach's obviously there but it's more like in line with my jean versus like protruding over my jean um button if that makes sense now when it comes to my face i feel a difference in my face and i'll make sure to show you guys the before and after i think there's a slight difference and maybe you guys don't notice it but you know as a person who's actually losing weight i think we feel it more um because it's not always about looks but it kind of like i feel it like it feels different and when i smile i feel different and i just feel more confident already it's kind of hard to tell because the shadow underneath my chin because where the lights are right now but this is when i smile and my biggest problem area was like right here all this like i felt like it was more like this like i had more of the double chin and now you can barely see the double chin just to the side and i just feel like there's a difference and i love it so i'll show you the before and after clips of me like turning around also just like still pictures and to me i see the slight difference as you guys can see i did not lose a lot of weight however i did lose inches so even though i didn't lose a lot of weight and that number didn't go down i lost inches which is crazy because i only lost just a few pounds according to the scale but i don't know what's going on with that because i lost inches so you would have thought that I would have lost more weight, but according to the scale, I did not. But my goal this month is to make sure to start actually working out more now that my car situation is handled. I did get a new car. If you guys didn't see that vlog, go ahead and go back a few videos. I'll make sure to link it down below as well. But I did recently get a new car and that was really exciting. I wanna work on a lot more cardio because before I would do only like five to 10 minutes of cardio and then work on like weightlifting. Based on my research, I could be wrong. Let me know if you guys know in the comments below. If you're trying to lose weight and then get toned, you shouldn't be like building your muscle more than you are trying to lose um, the fat because what's gonna happen is that muscle is gonna build up on top of the fat which makes it harder to lose the fat or something like that and I don't want that to be any harder than it already is for me so I'm definitely gonna try to do more cardio and then besides that I'm um, drinking water I think I did good for like the first two weeks and then after that I started to slowly like forget to drink water i kept forgetting my water bottle i kept forgetting i just got lazy and didn't want to get up and refill it but um starting today and forward gonna try to drink more water my sister she's on this weight loss journey as well and she's been losing weight so that's good too and she's kind of inspiring me to drink more water because i think she's drinking like three liters of water a day and i was drinking like i don't know like 64 ounces and that's it so i want to drink more water and then also i want to incorporate more vegetables when i have been eating my dinners and lunches uh, not really breakfast, but there's lunches. I have been trying more recently to have more vegetables in my meals so that I'm more full. Vegetables have a lot of fiber and help keep you full. And it's really good for your digestive system and everything. And fruits um, have a lot of sugars, which although the fruits are healthy for you and there's not as bad because it's not bad sugars, um, it still does have a lot of sugar, which can turn into fat 
for carbs, which turn into fat and all that stuff. So, like I said, I've been doing really good on tracking my meals. I've been doing really good on um, trying to stay within my points. I haven't really been going over too much. I've never gone over my entire weeklies, which is good. I think I'm down to 33 points now that I've lost a little bit of weight. I was at 34 before, now it's at 33. So, one less point, which is fine. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have any tips on how to lose more weight or, I don't know, just do better with Weight Watchers and weight loss, let me know in the comments below. Looking forward to a better result in the next two weeks. I did like feel like the last two weeks took forever to come by, so maybe I'll do a new update every week. I don't know. Always know that weight is just a number as you guys saw so if you guys are on a weight loss journey and you guys are trying to like lose a lot, a lot of weight don't pay too much attention to the number yes it's gonna go down sometimes it might go up but measure yourself because that's where the real difference is gonna be and also based on your feelings and how you feel what you look like in the mirror how you feel in your clothes you know just how comfortable you feel so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys want to see any like what i eat in a day videos on my weight loss journey and anything else you guys want to see in the comments below i'll see you guys in two weeks with a new weight loss update and thanks so much for watching bye no bounce, bounce, bounce.